Hi, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about three dimensional arrays. So, three dimensional array is nothing but it is created by combining two dimensional arrays. This is one of the example for a pictorial representation of a three dimensional array. So, it was created by combining two two dimensional array. The first one having the elements 2, 18, 19, and 8, 19, and 13. And the second two dimensional array having 88 up to 77. So we are combining this together and created this three dimensional array. And talking about the shape of this, there are the shape of this three dimensional array is 2 by 2 by 3. And the first digit 2 represents a number of layers or number of two dimensional arrays we use to create this. And the second and the third, the 2 and 3, is the number of rows and number of columns. Or we can say the number of rows in a two dimensional array which used to create that means two rows. And then the last is number of columns. There are three columns. So this is talking about the shape. Let's have a look how to create that three dimensional array the same three dimensional array in our numpy library so i already created this two uh, first two dimensional array the two two dimensional arrays here uh, using the common np.array there are two 18 19 8 19 and 13 and this one 88 up to 77 now the next is for creating or combining this together to create a three dimensional array the command is np.array the same open the parenthesis and we are including the elements so we will take the first two dimensional arrays elements that is i'm co copying the whole thing except the parenthesis and the commands and i'm pasting that then separated by a comma and i'm copying the second one and pasting that there so we added both the the, the first layer and the second layer numpy arrays two dimension numpy arrays now we are combining combining by enclosing that the whole this thing within the list so i'm just opened a list here bracket square bracket and closing the square bracket here so we are enclosing all the elements or the or both the two dimensional arrays or the layers in a single uh, square bracket then we run this command we got the same three dimensional array here 218 19 8 19 13 and in the second layer it is 88 11 55 up to 77 so i request you to pause the video and have a look on this array we created and the 3d representation so we will get a better understanding about that so next is i'll just create another three dimensional array with the three layers so i already have the elements here so the command is np dot array Open the parenthesis. I'm copying all those things by separated by comma. Then separate by comma and copying the second layer here or enter the second layer. Separated by comma and enter the third layer. Then enclosing everything within a square bracket. If you're running this, we got the same three dimensional array here. So the shape is three by two by three that means there are three layers and two is the two rows and the three is three columns here three columns so the shape is three by two by three next one more thing i want to discuss about that is when we are adding a, this is the 3d representation of a numpy array but we have one element here is missing so this is not a consistent one so we should have all the elements together for example if i have this numpy array the same numpy array i'm copying here and running this command so we got the same numpy array the same but if i am deleting so here 10 is missing so i am just deleting this 10 that means this element have only the last one the last layer having only two elements instead of three if you are running this it will not give it is giving an error or is inconsistent so we have to all the layers having same number of elements that is very important so i'm just clicking 12 to 10 and if you are adding the array got created so that's all about the basic concepts of three dimensional arrays and also we don't need to create this uh, two dimensional arrays for that it is just for our understanding so we can just directly create this two, uh, three dimensional array with a single line of code